Here we will see from the student's end how they are going to be able to interact with assessments that have been administered or at least set up via Mastery Connect inside of our Canvas courses. Now you'll notice first and foremost that on the right hand side, just like we see for other Canvas assignments, that it tells the student that there is their assignments there for them to do. They could simply click here if it appears. They can always click show all. But what we're going to do is we're going to pretend that their students are going to go through the course. So I'm going to open up this course that I have a student has. Now all of the assessments from Mastery Connect always populate under assignment. So you're going to be sure that you're going to locate the assignment. So I'm a student, I see assignments, I click on assignments and there it is. Now my teacher maybe has not changed what my assignment category is or my group, but I also see that here's the title of that assignment. So I'm going to go ahead and open up this. I just rephrased it test demo for purposes of this video. And I click on that from the student's end. And there I go, I'm automatically into the assessment itself. Now, this particular sample is a passage with questions here. My students could expand it. If there are multiple questions associated with the same passage, they can simply click next and there we'll go. Now, one of the big questions we wanna make sure that we address is that if a student were not to finish an assessment, please don't have them click finish, but rather understand that it is saved. Progress is saved so that the next go around when a student picks up the assignment, they're able to resume wherever they had last left off. Now, if they click finish, I'm gonna do that now. Let me go ahead and select an answer here. It does tell us that it, not all of the test is done. Are you sure you wanna submit it? And the student can click yes or they can click no. But again, we're suggesting and recommending that if you, for whatever reason, maybe the test is going longer than expected, or you're breaking it up into chunks, that you have them stop wherever they're at, knowing that it automatically saves their progress. And then when they're all finished, they, they will click the option for finish. And that's it. Again, students would find this located in assignments. They would locate the assessment, or the assessment themselves, whatever it is called, simply click on it and launch the test themselves and they're able to take it. If you have any questions, please let us know.